everyone, and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! We have finally made our way over here, thanks to Sunflower's help, and holy moly, that uh, librarian is going kind of nuts down there. Maybe that's why the villagers keep them locked up in there. But yes, thanks to Sunflower's help, we have flown all the way back out here to the paleontology village that we found a while ago. Very exciting, and we are very close to the glaciers. And it occurred to me when we landed here, it would be a good idea to set up a little rest point. So what we have done is we have put a little bed down. We've got our own little bed. I took a snooze in it so that we're set here. And then I've also put all of our awesome finds from the amazing stronghold that we investigated into this chest. So we've got all of our oreberry bushes, all of our mushrooms, the ice shrooms, those death blooms. Absolutely fascinating. I think we might have a very special greenhouse to put those in, if nothing else. The icicles, the ice shrooms, the ice, all of the moss, the, the bones, all of those things tucked safely away because we do have our charm of keeping. But I just want to make sure that we have space because we are going to go and investigate the very amazing glacier that is near here. I saw a really great little canyon actually that I think we can explore quite a bit. Also, oh, look, little butterfly. Hi, little butterfly. I feel kind of bad for this guy. Oh, hello. He seems to have calmed down, though, so I guess it's okay. But yes, yeah, so this is a really cool little village. I feel like this is where a whole bunch of the paleontologists would be. Oh, and a whole bunch of bears. Oh, I hope you guys don't fall and get hurt. It's kind of high up here, yeah? Hi, how are you? Ooh, books for emeralds, huh? Hmm. And you also appear to be stuck in some gravel. Are you helping him, sir? What do you do, hmm? Sticky pistons. I have lots of oreberry bushes. We're good. Thank you very much. Ah, and there it is. There it is. You can see the glacier in the distance there. So let's hop over there. We'll let Sunflower get a little bit of rest because it's not far. See? Look at it right there. And I am pretty excited about the canyon that we found. Oh my gosh, there's so many bears here. Oh, and look at that. Doesn't that just look so cool? Whoa! No help! We fell in the hole. But yeah, doesn't that just look so cool? I mean, look at it. Oh, wow. All right, and then let's hop up here. I'm watching you guys. I'm watching you bears. Wow. I don't think that the glacier could have blended with a cooler biome the way it blended with the hardened dirt. Oh, look, there's a cave right there. Is that cobblestone? Oh, look, there's a fossil. That does look like cobblestone. Let's go investigate that first. There's a deeper canyon that is in that direction. And I think that's what we're going to head for eventually. But, you know, you got to investigate the cool things. Oh, look, chocobo feather. Evidence of chocobos. Hmm. All right. So let's hop down here and then up there. Let's hop, 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 hop. Hmm. Bat pick. Bat pick has turned out to be amazingly useful to be able to investigate these icy areas without having the whole place flood on us. Wait, snow, get out of here. You know what we need to build? We need to build a little snowman that we can harvest snow from for making. Ah, oh, there we go. Almost there. Ooh, the ice is slippery. Oh, there we go. Yay! All right. Our first fossils. Look at that. A little bit of relics. More relic scraps. What do we have here? Ooh, some bio fossils. Don't mind if I do. Look at this. What? Is this like a spawner already? Oh, yep. Hello. There's a spawner here. How cool is that? We just saw it from the side of the glacier. Nope, you can get out of here, sir. All right, let's take care of the spawner real fast. There we go. Wow, there's so many fossils here. This is going to be fantastic. Let's see, anything useful? No, iron horse armor, but that's about it. Well, that's a pretty lucky find. A spawner first thing's not bad at all, if you ask me. Let's put these down here. Wow! Wow, this glacier... Whoops, let's move this over here just so we don't melt the glacier. This glacier is full of fossils right away. Oh, I should have realized when we didn't see fossils for so long that something, something was up. Oh, I, I kind of don't want to harvest too many of them. Or I should say, uh, excavate too many of them because we do want to make sure that we do our best to get that paleontology and archaeology enchant. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Come here, you guys. Oh, oh, there we go. But we do have Fortune 3, which seems to be helping quite a bit. All right, come here, you. Come here, you. Come here, you. 
There we go. Nice. Nice. And a little bit of eggplant to sate our appetite. But yeah, that's kind of cool. We found we found ourselves oh wow. <laughs> a ton of fossils and a spawner first thing. So hmm, interesting. That just deepens the mystery over what might have happened to the researchers who used to live around here and who used to take care of the dinosaur research center that Calf is currently working in. Wait, back off gravel. Alright, come here. I got you guys. Did we do? There are chocobos nearby. Alright, now let's pop down here. And, oh, a little mouse! Oh, too bad we don't have safari nuts. We only had the one that we ended up sticking. Oh, wow. Hmm. Well, I planned on going somewhere else. Oh, look at that! <gasps> vines growing on! The vines that are growing up there. That's just so pretty. Oh, so pretty growing on the, the ice there. I planned on going into the canyon, but actually I guess this is a good place as any to get started as we look for permafrost. And hopefully it'll lead us under the glacier without running into too much ice. Because if we run into too much ice, that might cause problems. I love it. Oh, I hear some monsters. I hear some not so great moaning, groaning zombies. So we gotta keep our ears out for the zombies too. But yeah, this is, see there's dirt down here too, which bodes well, because I found out that permafrost is basically like a dirt block. This is actually really pretty with it mixed in. Oh look, there's some more fossils. Hmm? What's that? That's just a cobweb, I think, but, oh wow, and the vines are growing. Hmm. More fossils, more fossils. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's light this place up a little bit. Wow. Yeah, I think what we'll try to do in our quest for permafrost is stick to these like natural cave systems so that we're not just digging, 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 digging at random everywhere else. Hmm, let's gather up some of this coal. Come on, coal. Rain down on me. Just so we can have the torches available if we need to. I picked up a bunch of sticks. It took a while too. I had to cut down the little shrub bushes. There's not a lot to a shrub bush. In the distance I could see the glorious beauty of the redwood trees. But I did not want to cut down the redwood trees just so we can make torches. That's that's not happening. Alright, come here you. Gotcha. Alright, let's light this area up. I wonder, yeah, I think the permafrost we just have to kind of go deep. Um, all the permafrost I've ever found has been quite deep in caves. Closer to where you might find diamond and things. So yeah, we'll probably go to the chasm in just a little bit. Taking a peek down here. Nope. Taking a peek over here. Nope. Hmm? Oh. It's just so pretty. Our world is so beautiful. I love exploring it. Oh yay, more fossils. We might poke at these in just a second. You never know, maybe we'll find like another Velociraptor pack that we will have stumbled upon. I mean, look at that. I love the way the grass blocks, and now we can harvest grass blocks thanks to Bat Pick. Ugh, Calf has no idea the amazing benefit that he did for us when he made Bat Pick. And in fact, you know what I think we're gonna start doing? Instead of harvesting the fossil blocks with purple rain like we've been doing, we'll, we'll use Bat Pick. I'm gonna switch to Bat Pick. And we're just going to pick up the blocks as they are, and we'll take them home, and we'll hold on to these. Come here. Come here, I gotcha. And we will hold on to these until we get the fossil and archaeology's um, enchantment pickaxes. So when we have the paleontology and archaeology enchantments, then we'll use them on these fossil blocks. But until then, I'm going to stop just like digging out the scraps and things for now. Wow, we got a broken ancient helmet! Wow, I didn't even see that sneak in. All right, we'll put these over here. Good, good, good. And then let us resume working our way towards that glacier. Oh, look, it's an int. Hello, Mr. Int. You appear to be <laughs> spreading flowers up the glacier. I approve. I approve very much. But yeah, we'll work our way this way. Because I saw the canyon over here. And that will hopefully get us deep in the ground so that we can resume exploring for permafrost. Also, let's pick up the pace a little bit because I don't want to be out here at night. Yeah, it's not far from the village at all. 
Though it's good to know there are so many fossils around here, it does deepen that mystery. I'm pretty sure that there must have been... Oh wow, a lot of black sheep. That's interesting too. You have to keep your eyes peeled, stay curious, and stay aware. And here it is. I knew it was close by. There's this big old chasm right here. And then... Yeah, right over there. When we were flying here on Sunflower last night, I saw that this looks like a good spot to dig down. Let's see. Let's just go ahead. Hmm. Safe. So far it's safe. Not so bad so far. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll just kind of shimmy our way down like this. So it's safe. All right, how are we doing? Ooh, fossils! See, already we're running into fossils. Sweet. Come here, little fossil block. Then work our way over here. And here we go. Ouch. Look at this! All right, this this should be pretty good. All right, some gravel here. Mm-hmm. And now we will work our way into the mountain one way or another. And hopefully find the permafrost because you guys are so excited about the idea of the terror birds. Come here, icicles. Don't mind if I do. Gonna do so much decorating with you. Ooh, and a whole big pile of fossils. You know, you can find, um, often paleontologists find fossils in clusters where animals have died in mass over a period of time. Like, for, you know, everyone knows about the tar pits. Like, you can often find a lot of stuff in tar pits because when once you get stuck in the tar pit, it's kind of all over. That's why I try to avoid them. I don't want to get stuck in the tar pit and die. Ooh, there we go. This is what I'm talking about. A cave that will go down, go deep, and hopefully we'll get down low and be able to find some good permafrost. Let's see. Without, um... Without melting the whole place to pieces. Good. This is what we're looking for. Let's mark the entrance so we know how to get back out. There. We'll call this Bone Pile Cave because there's a lot of bone piles that we've been discovering. Alright. Add Bone Pile Cave. There we go. You know, we might stop by uh, the Dinosaur Research Center on our way back home. I do have to destroy quite a few bugs over there, so we will be- Oh, wow! Hey! Hey, you guys! You can come down. Come down from the ceiling. It's okay. I'll get ya. Let's see. But yeah, we need to destroy some bugs over there, because I promised Calf that I would help him exterminate his bug problem that he's got going. And then, that's a werewolf. Okay. Uh, I think he sees us, so let's make a, a quick job of this. Eh. Come here, come here. Alright, there we go. Come here, fossil pile. Oh, where'd he go? Okay, let's... Whoops! No, this is the right direction? No, it's not. Alright, we'll go this way. Time to skedaddle. We do have... In fact, that kind of makes me want to get our sword out, just in case, but... Uh, what's down here? More of these awesome mushrooms that I love so much. Doing okay. More caves. More bones. Well, this definitely bodes well for the dinosaurs, at the very least. And getting more relics. We're definitely going to have to build a museum. Oh, you know, that's what we should do. We should take one of those academies that we stumbled upon. Because I don't think Calf's going to be too interested in restoring the academies when he's busy feeding his dinosaurs. And we can restore the academies. Oh, what's going on in here, huh? Oh, hi! You're going on in there, eh? I'm good, thank you. I don't need your your assistance, sir. Hmm. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, no. Nope, 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 nope. Another spawner? Well, let's go take care of it just so we don't get eaten when we least expect it. No, so far just a big cave. Hmm. Hmm. We might just focus on going down for a while and collecting the fossils as we find them. Come here. Got it. Hmm. 
I hear water running. We're going to have lots of water running if I'm not more careful with the torches. Alright. Yeah, this is going the wrong direction because now we're going up. What was that? Oh, jeez. Good sir, hang on. Okay, hang on. Oh, fudge. I really wanted to save you. But if you're going to behave like this, I can't. No. Look, stay down, okay? There, okay, you stay there for just a second. No, stay. Okay, he's not the smartest thing in the world. That's a good thing. Am I about to adopt another son? He's a full-grown adult, though, so this is this is a little different. Oh, hey, he found me a mine shaft. Good job, little zombie dude. Get in the safari net. Get in the safari net. Oops, there he goes. Sweet! All right, zombie villager captured. Ah, oh, we've only ever cured just Junior. Hey, where'd he go? Oh, I threw him. No. Okay, we gotta go down and get him. That's better. Mine shaft. This is a good sign. The mine shaft should be able to lead us pretty deep. See, <laughs> it's amazing how we just kind of stumble into one thing after another, and before you know it, we're actually getting somewhere. All right, let's get this and get that. And then let's get exploring, so hopefully we will be able... Oops, fossils, sweet. Yeah, people love dinosaurs, I'm finding. Which is fantastic. So we will be doing more with calf and with dinosaurs, but we are going to be working with the normal animals too. They deserve some love. Like Maya, I need to expand. I've been promising that poor cat an expansion to her exhibit for ages and ages now. So we'll be expanding Maya's exhibit at some point. What is this nonsense? We just dug a chest out from a pile of gravel. That's amazing. Ooh, and it has a diamond in it. That's uncommon. All right, well, that's pretty cool. All right, put that there. Put this here. Mm-hmm. That way leads down, so we'll probably take that direction in just a minute. Hmm. This one has... Oh, those are some really unhappy noises from monsters that I just heard. Oh, those are some ghosts. That's definitely some very unhappy... some unhappy wraiths somewhere. Oh... Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Maybe it's the ghost of a, a paleontologist who fell down here. And I'm melting everything behind us. Oh good. <laughs> I bet that's the ghost of a paleontologist who explored alone like I'm doing and will forever regret their decision for all of eternity. There he is. I found him. Can we get him? Uh, let's put those away. Can I shoot a ghost? Is it possible to shoot a ghost? We're about to find out. Hey you! Oh, you can shoot ghosts! I must have magically enchanted- oh, wow. There, yeah, that took care of him. That wasn't so bad. Alright, let's get down there and see what he was hiding. Maybe he left some loot behind when he died. Ooh, this is fine. Fossil pieces everywhere. Little mine shafts to explore. Wow, what's going on here? Complicated lava melting little spot. Sneak over here. That is one of the risks when we look for things inside of these kinds of areas. Is that everything has melted. Or it can melt. Alright, we're going to have to turn around and get some of those fossils in just a minute. I just prefer lighting up some of our area. It looks like there's some mine shafts intersecting one another, actually. That's pretty darn cool. Hey, you stay up there, water block. Snag this mushroom. Where'd all those fossils go? I'm hoping, as we dig, getting out the fossils and things like that... Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Then we will be able... Ooh, interesting. To find the permafrost, because we did find quite a bit in Relic Rapids, now that I think of it. I thought we did, at least. But I don't think it turned into anything, is what happened. You know, as much as I want you guys, Orberry Bushes, that is not worth the risk. Mm-mm. Alright, let's pop over here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Alright, I think it's time to explore a little bit deeper.